We usually have two, but we can actually technically we can add carry up to four cab drivers. Oh wow! Well. Want to so if they if they're so inclined to pay for that. It, actually, the price isn't, it's 50 bucks right in the camp, which isn't too bad. Wow. <laughs> yeah, cheaper than yeah. most tourists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like, I've seen the Cal West, last time I looked at, like, getting a cab ride at on the Cal Western with the 45, I think it was, like, 100 bucks. Yeah. You know? And actually, just, their ticket price is a little more, but they go further, too, though. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, we just trot on Montague, 10 uh -huh. miles an hour, and we trot on back. Wow, yeah. Usually, hour layover Montague, people go have lunch, uh. There's a museum in Montague too, yeah. like a rare museum kind of thing. I'm not. I don't think they're open right now. I think they're usually open during summer months. Uh huh. Uh, it's actually in the old uh, Montague Depot. Okay. It's SP Depot. Uh, it used to be next to tracks, but you know all those things where they moved it away from the tracks. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's actually a nice depot. The upstairs and stuff they actually have done up where the station master quarters and stuff were. So it's actually pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, we're just... Well, definitely keep at it, because it's definitely a great engine here. Yeah. Great. Yeah, she, she, does, a, she does a good job. Yeah. Uh, definitely earns her keep. Yeah. She does good. Yeah. Uh, there's been times where we use her for freight. Wow. Yeah. And, and not just, yeah. like, photo freight thing. I mean, this is Real actual, freight? <laughs> yeah, so Revenue it, it freight? Is, yeah. Wow. It's just pretty much the only engine you can actually say gets used, used on a somewhat regular basis. We don't do it all the time. Right. It's more of like the diesel engine is down. Only other thing we got is this. So we got it. <laughs> That's a sight to see. Wow. So yeah, and it's yeah. and and she'll she'll pull you know five or I think like six loaded cars up. It's the max she can pull up the hill. Okay. Uh, this doesn't sound like a lot, but you gotta remember this engine was yeah, it's nineteen fifteen. Cars have really pull you know got yeah. behind you know. A couple yeah, cars are bigger. A couple than yeah, shows. quite a bit. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, they weigh on you know, over 100 tons. 100 tons, yeah. Well, you know, those loaded ship cars, you know, I think yeah. probably weigh more than that. Yeah. Loaded, yeah no, just plus, the car alone weighs, you know, yeah. 100 yeah. tons. Or and then yeah. there's also, uh, you know, loaded ship cars and loaded bulkheads full of veneer. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The plant reserve, so. Yeah. Uh, you know, those are pretty heavy, but you know, two and a half percent grade, it'll pull six or seven of them. Mm -hmm. Does its thing. Yeah. Uh, like I said. She does a good job at it, so yeah. that's what she's built to do. Is all lumber. Yeah. yeah, that's what she's done. Yeah. Still yeah. does it on occasion. That's great. Yeah, last last time she pulled anything close to freight train was a PLA trip. Uh, November oh, 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And it was just a bunch of five bulkheads in the passenger console. It's great to hear about it. It was an eight-car train, so, I mean, yeah. we got some good stack talk. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this engine... As far as stack talk, she's pretty got a low woof to it, I guess. Uh -huh. The engine's got like a pretty loud bark. Like in Cloud 25, if you ever listen to that, the barely open throttle is just a loud, sharp bark. Mm -hmm. And this just kind of. Her whistle makes up for it, though. Yeah, okay. Whistle, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. The whistle okay. is. She's got a six chime whistle. Yeah. Uh, it's taken off right now because we're doing all the work and stuff. But yeah. It's it's loud, especially since the whistle's on this side. Yeah. On the steam dome. So wow. you're a fireman, you kind of got to deal with it. Yeah, especially if you got got an engineer who just likes to really likes to, get, say, hey, it's, to really lay on the whistle. It's on yeah. my side. <laughs> so so sometimes you, it, when we're pulling out of Wairika, and yeah. until we get down past the mill, since we've got quite a few crossings, we usually wear earplugs. So we don't have to I would say, yeah. Uh, I don't but because uh, we, we do have quite a few crossings. Yeah. So we got a whistle for it. Uh, yeah, this is. Well, this would definitely be a nice engine to get a cab ride. That yeah, it, it really is. It's, it's yeah. just like so we just kind of plod along and, yeah. and she does her thing. Uh, you know, this engine's never really been out of service either. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, just it's just always, I mean, there's been periods t pretty much in the last, you know, five or six years where she's been out of service because, uh, well, she had to have her. Boiler redone for the FRA stuff because we're uh -huh. 15 years ago. And then, you know, so we had that tunnel fire in the Siskiyous, which really affected us, which we probably didn't run for three years. Uh huh. Uh, and during that time, 19 was down, the money that was used to go towards 19's repair was like $100,000, something like that had to go towards uh, payroll, pay uh -huh. to get the employees paid. So, so that got put off until 2006 when she finally came back. Uh huh. Uh, 
But yeah, but you know, other than you know, a few year period, it's never really been on display in the park or have to be restored or anything like that. It's yeah, through a lot of owners, but yeah. But yeah, she's just she's always been in service. Pretty much, except yeah. for you know rebuilds and things like that. But yeah, one of the best pieces of yeah. So this is one of those engines that you can say has never been retired. Living, yeah, steam history. You know, yeah. UP likes to say they got the only retired, non-retired locomotive, may, class one maybe, but yeah, but as far as short lines go. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> only other place I can think of that might be able to say that is is you know. Drain yourself between the covers and toll tanks. Sure, so sure. Those, that's the only thing they can run is others, so. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, she just does her thing and. She turns 95 next month. Yeah. Wow. Uh, according to the day on the blueprint, or the directing drawing I, I, yeah. I have, uh, I think it's April 8th. Wow. It is the day on it, so that's, I guess, you know, you, you can say that this April 8th is Poncho's birthday. Wow. Uh, it just needs its. Firebox cleaned and yep. Well, we we'll, we'll get the flues cleaned. We, the flues we're, we're, what cleaned. What we're doing right now is we're is we're reaming the tubes. Yeah. Uh, and then when we're done with that, the reamer gets all up, loosens all up, yeah. and gets all the shit out. And then we got uh, nice wire brushes and the wire brushes in there. We got yeah. just a wire brush, bristle comb kind of thing. And we'll run that through and I'll, I'll clean the rest of them out. And then we'll uh, clean out all the soot yeah. on the firebox. Yeah, but we got to clean that out. Uh, we got, a, we got a nice big pile up front now. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot and then, of... And then uh, another thing we got to do is, as the reamer and stuff only does the small tubes. Mm -hmm. Now if you look, we got the superheater tubes. Oh yeah, And sure. we can't run any uh, uh, reamer or anything through there because uh -huh. we got the superheater elements in there. Okay. Yeah. So those, little, those actual pipes in there that run through there. Yeah. So when we're done reaming the tubes and yeah. wire brushing them, uh, at some point we want to take the engine outside and uh, we'll take a power wash to it and okay. wash them out. Yeah. Us, you know, we also want to wash the engine down too. Yeah. The yeah. power washer, steam clean it and get a lot of the uh, grease and junk off. Yeah. Road grime. Yeah. Road grime. Just built up road grime at 95. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's been cleaned off before. But yeah, that, but that's about it. Uh, she gets uh, a little too much grease sometimes. Yeah. So it, it, so. Sometimes she likes to puke on herself. Yeah. <laughs> that that too. Uh, it's <laughs> it's also what we kind of refer to as black grain. Sometimes you're starting out in the morning, you get a lot of some water and stuff built up in the black blast pipe, the smoke box and stuff. So yeah. it all comes raining down on you. And, yeah. And it's all black in the city. So yeah. it's been a couple times I faces looks okay. like I'm a Dalmatian. <laughs> I bet a lot of people wish they could pull six cars of veneer at yeah, age I've, 95. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> I've, I've never fired doing that because uh, yeah. it's always like a weekday kind of thing. Yeah. But it's a kind of stand on your toes when you're firing it. But yeah. Like she, she does it. And yeah. She goes right along. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're working as you know hard and fast as we can to get her ready to go. That's great. But we got we got plenty of time though. Yeah. To, sure. So okay. I'm not sure. We're we're not sure when we're gonna have our first. Mm-hmm. Day because we're, we're going to run a like a limited excursion season sure. this year. Uh, quite a special events a couple times a month. Mm -hmm. uh, so for now anyway. Yeah, for I mean, now could change. But yeah, you never I mean, know. We kind of we we're really trying to get get word back out where Western Western's going because we, we, you know, 2006 up through 2008, we we're running. Well, not a lot of people knew about it. Right. People in town didn't know. My yeah, it's a small town. You can hear the whistle anywhere in town. People didn't know. Yeah, we were just down there, and several people we were. I'd seen your railroad before when we were going up to Seattle one time, and then, and then when we were here, like we were looking for the central Wairika exit. Yeah. And then several people there said, "Oh yeah, well, Wairika yeah. Westerns up." I mean, this is like I said, this is like the main tourist thing for right. Wairika. And the time yeah. everyone comes to Wairika is for this. Yeah. And you know, and also, <coughs> this is also important for Montague. Mm -hmm. Montague's out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's only seven miles, but it's not going to pull anybody off high five. Yeah. It's a, it's a really so, small town. There's not yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, you know, if you get a chance, stop by there. There's not a whole lot there. Uh, but Montague really relies on the excursion train because it takes people in during the summer. Yeah. And that's probably good. Their local economy is fed off of yeah. tourism besides it's the cow towns, so it's agriculture. But, mm -hmm. but they really.